I've got the boss of one of the world's biggest energy firms, plus the new nuclear technology that promises to be safer than ever. Join me, Aaron Heselhurst, on Talking Business Weekly, here on BBC World News. This is BBC World News. I'm Matthew Emery Waller. On today's Global, the UN says 4% of the world's population needs its urgent help. <coughs> Nearly 340 million people are at risk. Two thirds need life saving aid. The United Nations launches a record appeal for its annual operations. Ghana's opposition foreign minister joins us live on the programme. Until yesterday, Ghana held the presidency of the UN Security Council. Also on today's programme, Britain's royal race row. The black British charity boss, who was repeatedly asked where she was really from at a royal reception, has told the BBC she felt abused. Right, no matter how uncomfortable it is for other people to accept, I'm very clear that I experienced racism in an environment that I should have felt safe in. I'm Lucy Hawkins live at the World Cup in Doha, where eight more teams are in action. They're competing for their places in the knockout stages. But the focus today is not just going to be on the players. And that's because history will be made in the Costa Rica-Germany match later with an all-female refereeing trio led by the ref Stephanie Frappa, who will take charge for the first time in a men's World Cup match. Hello and welcome to BBC News. The numbers are quite simply mind-boggling. The UN says around 339 million people will need its help next year, more than 4% of the people on this planet. It says two-thirds of those need urgent life-saving aid. 45 million are at risk of starvation. The UN is appealing for more than $50 billion to stave off the worst of those various crises they're battling with. Well, their head of humanitarian operations, Martin Griffiths, says the needs are shockingly high. The needs are going up because we... 